Hi friends, my name is Dr. Marissa May and in this video we're going to be graphing a system of inequalities. Now I'm going to be using the Desmos graphing calculator to help with these inequalities, but I do want to tell you I am a teacher in Texas and because our students have to use the Texas version of the Desmos graphing calculator for their standardized test, that's the version I'll be using today. I'll be sure and link it below if you want to bookmark it and take a look at it. So in order to get ready to graph these two um, inequalities, I need to solve for y. So I'm going to take my first inequality and I'm going to get y by itself. To do that, I'm going to subtract x and that'll give me 4y is less than. Now I like to flip flop these and make that negative x plus 8. I'm kind of going for that y equals mx plus b version of the formula. And then I'm going to divide by 4 on every term. That gives me y is less than negative 1 fourth x plus 2. You'll notice how I did that negative x divided by 4 as negative 1 fourth x to make it a little simpler for myself. Now let's do the same thing for the 3x minus y is greater than or equal to 4. So I'm going to move the 3x over by subtracting 3x. And that gives me negative y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 4. Remember, I like to flip-flop mine. And here's the fun part. I'm going to divide by negative 1 on each of the terms. But because it's negative, I have to flip that inequality from a greater than to now a less than or equal to. So now I have my two inequalities that I'm ready to take to my Desmos graphing calculator. Remember, I'm going to be using the Texas version of the Desmos graphing calculator since that's what my students have to use. All right, so here is the Texas version of that Desmos graphing calculator. I'll be sure and link it below for you. I'm going to put in my two inequalities um, so that I can take a look and see what these graphs look like. So I've got y is less than negative one fourth x plus 2. Now I see that Desmos is giving me an error here and that just means that Desmos doesn't graph inequalities. So I'm going to deal with the inequality here in a minute, but I'm going to change this to an equal sign just so Desmos will graph it. Okay. Then I'll put in the other equation and since I already know, or I'll put in the other inequality, but since I already know Desmos won't graph it, I'm just going to change it to an equal sign so we can take a look at the actual graph. There we go. All right. Now I have to deal with the inequalities part. So with my first one, which was actually y is less than negative one fourth x plus two, because it did not have an equal to underneath it, I know it should be a dashed line. So I'm just going to draw over it so you can see I would actually put a dashed line for this one. Okay. And it's less than. So I know that I need to shade below the y-intercept. So I would shade this side. Okay. Let's take a look at the other one now. Y is less than or equal to 3x minus 4. So I know it's a solid line because it's got the equal to underneath that. And I know I should shade below the y-intercept because, again, it's less than. So below the y-intercept is actually this part. Okay, so my final answer is actually where these two shadings overlap. And that happens in this bottom portion here. I'm going to make it green so it'll kind of stand out here. This bottom portion is where the two shadings overlap, where my video is, right? That's my final answer because it's where both of these overlap. But I hope this helps you see how you can get Desmos to do the heavy lifting with the graphing. You still have to interpret, does it need to be a solid or a dashed line? Do I shade above or below? And then where do those two shadings overlap? All right, friends, I hope this helps. Bye for now.